Hi, so um, what I'm doing here is just uh, taking my wine that I'm making and transferring it to this bucket and then I'll be transferring it back to the carboy again in a few um, few hours. What I'm just trying to do is uh, it's getting to the end of aging and I just want to uh, get rid of the last of the sediment at the bottom so I don't have a filter so what I'll do is just triple transfer so we're bottling. Uh, Lucy's asleep so I got my monitor right here. And uh, she's been doing really well. She's starting to um, coo a bit and uh, starting to almost roll, I guess. Um, interesting. Uh, I actually, uh, a lot of times to get Lucy to laugh, I'll go <laughs> make that sound. And um, she uh, she really likes it and laughs. But now um, she'll make that same sound back to me when I make it to her, or make the sound when I come first. She first sees me coming to the room, so. Um, it's the only real sound she can really make that imitates other people. Um, I think it's kind of a, her version of high. Anyways, uh, my, my wife tells me to discourage me from making those sounds because she says she's not going to learn words, but I think she's just a little uptight. Um, anyways, uh, um, big thing I want to talk about today is actually um, uh, productivity when you're at home with a kid. Um, um, before I had the baby, uh, um, when I was at home, um, I mean, I get projects done, I get my work done, uh, but you know, I'm a chronic procrastinator. I, I'll, I'll do it at the last minute. You know, I'll, uh, it takes me two or three hours to get myself motivated to do something I don't really want to do. Like, you know, if it's a real crappy chore or a real big project that I don't really want to do, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do small projects that really aren't important or, you know, play video games or, you know, anything else. Clean the house sometimes, maybe. But, um, yeah. Um, so that, I find that's uh, that's um, something I can't really do now with a, a baby around. If I if something I have to do in the day, I can't. If she settles somewhat and I got a chance to do it, I have to do it right away, not wait 10, 20, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, or a few days. So uh, I guess the big thing of productivity is you have to, if you want to get something done, you gotta, you gotta take your window of opportunity and do it as soon as you can. So, um, yeah, that's a big learning curve. Uh, my wife's also the same way. She was kind of a big procrastinator. Although she'd always get a project done in the end, um, it, it has proven to be a big, uh, big pain, I guess, uh, in terms of changing your mindset. So, um, yeah. Uh, also, an adage that I heard, which makes a lot of sense to me now that I'm experiencing it, is that uh, once you have kids, you can still do anything you want. You just can't do everything you want. So, today I wanted to transfer wine. Um, and this is probably one of the biggest outside of baby like care and maybe cooking supper tonight like, tasks I'll get done today. I mean, I might get a few other things done here and there, but really, I think the best approach is just to focus on one thing that you really want to do that day and then take it from there. And I think you can expand it out even to bigger things too. I mean, um, you might be able to do that one trip or that, you know, go back to do grad studies, but you're not going to at the same time be able to play in like, you know, ultimate frisbee league and hockey or other sports at the same time, I mean, you, I think you have to choose, you know, what's the most important thing you want to do outside of, like, you know, childcare uh, in this given point in your life. Um, so you can't do all the things you wanted to do or used to be able to do, but you can still do pretty much anything you want to do, just, you know, one or two at a time. So that's uh, another thing to be prepared to adjust. Um, yeah, so uh, that's my only real big advice right now. Uh, uh, I'm going to keep letting the wine go down here and uh, hopefully get some nice bottles. Uh, this wine will make probably 30 bottles, or this carboy will make about 30 bottles of wine, which would be pretty good. Um, hopefully it works out. If not, you know, it's alright too. Just a little bit of waste of money and time.